With a little inversion and the help of the subtract blend mode, we can change this into this. Pretty cool. Ideal for sky and clouds. Let me share the basic technique first and then we will have a look at some use cases and improvements on the method. First thing to do is to duplicate the layer containing the image. I prefer to use the command J shortcut, but you can also use the context menu in the layers panel. The next step is to invert this layer, which can be done by adding an invert adjustment. As we want this invert adjustment only to be applied to the duplicate, we're going to make it a clip child of it. Time to apply the subtract blend mode. Make sure the duplicate with the invert adjustment is selected and then change the blend mode to subtract. This will darken the image considerably, but we also get a nice glow in the sky. The effect is too strong, so to lower its strength, we can lower the opacity to about 40%, which brings back the details, but we still have this nice warm sky. To make the effect blend more gradually, let's modify the blend range, so the subtract layer is gradually applied to the underlaying layer. This looks pretty cool already. An optional step, which might make the blend even better, is to also change the blend range of the invert adjustment. Most of the time it will not be necessary, but for this image it works quite well. Another optional step to give you more control on the effect is adding a levels adjustment. By adjusting the black and white levels you can really fine tune the results. What also works is setting the levels adjustment to negation blend mode. Depending on your image, this generates a more subtle end result. We are going to constrain the effect only to the areas we want. To achieve this, we will need to add a mask. Make sure the mask is a child of the duplicate layer itself and not accidentally a child of one of the adjustments we just applied. Now that we have a mask, we can paint with a black soft brush on the mask to exclude areas from the effect. In this case, I will remove it from the lights coming from the car and the car itself, so that the main subject in the photo gets more attention. That's pretty awesome. Let's apply this technique to some other photos, like this cute dog photo. As you see, Applying the effect makes your sky so much more interesting. Let me remove the current adjustments and quickly redo the effect. This time, however, I'm not going to make a duplicate. I'm just going to add an invert adjustment on top, apply the subtract blend mode and the blend range to it. As the invert adjustment has a built-in mask, I can immediately work on this mask and mask out everything except the sky. So, as you can see, we can apply everything with one adjustment. Keep in mind that you lose a bit of functionality as you can no longer apply the levels adjustment for extra fine tuning. Let me quickly add a curves adjustment to add a bit of contrast. And have a look at that, pretty cool. The steps in the next image are very similar. An invert adjustment in subtract blend mode with a modified blend range and opacity. To give that extra kick to the image, I will introduce a fill layer with blue. This fill layer will also be blended in in subtract blend mode. What can I say? I like the subtract blend mode. It's like spending money on cool gadgets. It just subtracts the money from your bank account. But have a look at that. Pretty amazing. Now, keep in mind that the subtract blend mode will always color the image with the opposite color. So in the case of blue, it will be orange. As I change the color of the fill, Notice how the opposite color on the wheel is actually applied to it. To finish up the fill layer, 
I'm going to change the blend range of it, so it will only apply to the darker areas. This creates a nice contrast in this image. Keep watching if you would like to see some other examples with some additional tips. At the end of the video, I will share the adjustments applied to the first image I have shown at the beginning of this video. So in this image, I'm pretty much applying the same steps with a small difference at the end, where I modify the blend range of the invert adjustment to include more of the lighter areas. The steps I shared are just guidelines and works most of the time, but depending on your image or on the effect you want to achieve, the steps can be adjusted or mixed with other techniques. So here is an interesting image. Again, I will apply the same steps, but this time the masking will be applied a bit differently. I'm not only going to apply the effect to the sky, but also to the shadows and in between the trees. This gives the image more depth. It is almost like dodging and burning. To finish the image, I will add a curves adjustment to give the final touch of contrast to the whole image. Here is the first image from the start of the video. Again, I'm just applying the same technique, but with a twist. As mentioned, the steps are just a guideline. This time, instead of changing the blend range of the underlaying layer, I will do this for the source layer. A quick and dirty mask. Normally, you should spend a little bit more time on your mask. I will then apply a lens filter adjustment to warm up the tint a bit, followed by the subtract fill trick I showed earlier, to really give that sun going down feeling. To make it more contrasty, a brightness and contrast adjustment in soft light blend mode. And finally, a curves adjustment to brighten things up but it will only be applied to the subject, so they do stand out in the photo. That's it basically. But the real power adjustment here is the invert adjustment in subtract blend mode, which really made the sky more alive. As you can see, the mask is crappy and I got this halo around the subjects. While I'm quickly fixing this, I want to thank you for watching and your support. Hopefully you learned something new or interesting today. Keep in mind that this is not the only way of changing the sky. You probably could also have used a curves adjustment. Please don't hesitate to use the comments for questions or remarks. Until the next video.